Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon, and I'm back again with another movie review. Last night, I actually got a chance to see The Man Who Knew Too Little, and <laughs> this is a gem of a film, and it features a rather young Mr. Murray, and if you're like me, and you like good comedies, and you enjoy comedians themselves and their, their line of work, then I would recommend this. It's a... Uh, it's got a fairly uncomplicated storyline, but it is a blast to see. And Murray is just absolutely delightful. He's this bumbling idiot. He is inept. He <laughs> he is just a complete imbecile. And despite that, you love him for it because somehow his luck just does not run out. You think. You should have been dead when your <laughs> when your brother actually gave you the theater of so-called theater of life experience, and a lot of things go awry with that. I won't say what or how, but it's rather funny. I'm not gonna give it my high mark like I did Throw Mama from a Train because I think that actually Throw Mama from a Train is funnier. But um, this one I'm gonna give 3.5. It's almost perfect. Um, however, there were a lot of things that were predictable because I've seen Spy Hard, I've seen All the Naked Guns, and of course Austin Powers. Those are just parodies, and being a fan of all things involving espionage, I just, I can't help myself, especially if it's true to life. And, ah, uh, I can't really recall that much else. <sighs> It's just a very amusing film, and <laughs> there are a lot of scenes in it that are very quotable, and his brother, <laughs> you just think, I know you hate him, but at least treat him with respect. Come on, this is terrible. Why would you treat your own brother that way? I know he's irritating, <laughs> and he agitates you. Don't treat him like he's a, a sack of dirt. That's just, that's just mean. I'm sorry. It's, that's just cruel. I mean, even if I had a, a brother that was completely, a complete and total doofus, I would, I would treat him, you know, like a human being. I guess I, hey, he's my blood. <laughs> but that's just the way I am. I'm different. However, there is a moment within the film itself that he has a revelation, well, uh, the way he comes to it is <laughs> is actually very ironic and very oddly amusing. It's it's twisted in its way, but two thumbs way up for the th the man who knew too little. And it's I think there was a <laughs> that's a, a loving parody of the man who knew too much, which is another film. I'm not sure if it's based on any kind of reality. But um, Murray is just a sparkling example here of how good timing is used. Um, you get to see some scenery in London. He drives this really crappy Mini, and that in itself is very funny. The scene of the roundabout, that was probably my favorite. Um, <laughs> I'm still laughing about that one. <laughs> him escaping yeah, up on the building on, on the ledge and getting shot at. That was funny. Um, the scene when he was doing uh, Cossack dancing and not doing it very well and trying to keep up with the other Cossacks. I thought, hee <laughs> that's quite amusing. Um, <laughs> it was hilarious. It, it was extremely um, fantastically acted and... Yeah, this, despite the predictable plot line, I enjoyed it. It's it's another one of those fluff films that you could just switch off your brain and sit back and enjoy. And it's probably one more that's obscure, but my friend re recommended it to me, and I've enjoyed it. So um, that's all i got to say about The Man Who Knew Too Little. So until next time, live long prosper. Ciao, Tootsie.